Recorded live at B-Luck 2012 in Antwerp, Belgium. This is Kathy Brown with How a New House Made Me a New Woman. Spark Ideas, produced by the Nerd Girls. Ideas in small little packets. The idea of a spark idea is the people that have brave it all to you today are going to talk to you about the things that inspire them. And they, they're not necessarily work-related, they're not necessarily technology-related, but we're hoping that what you take away from this is, is, is some of their enthusiasm and some ideas for what else you could do. This is all about inspirational, hopefully, life-tweaking type of ideas. We're working towards life change. So we have five people today. Each person has six minutes. Everyone except Mrs. Fitzgerald has no slides. <laughs> So then everyone's just going to come up and talk to you for about six minutes and sit down. Um, so we're not taking questions, but obviously after this, if you want to talk to the people that spoke, then go for it. So we're going to start with Jess Stratton. No, we're not. We're going to start with <laughs> Kathy Brown. I know we're interchangeable. <laughs> I meant you, woman. Let's <laughs> start with Kathy Brown. Uh, I 
I've also done plumbing improvements because the faucet broke and who else is going to do it, so I had to do it. So I went and I changed out the faucet. Again, another improvement that I didn't expect to make when I pulled out the old faucet and I looked, it had been leaking down into the wall, which is a bad thing when you have a lot of water pooling inside of your walls. Not a good thing. Never would have found it had I not gone to change the faucet. So again, I improved the house, maybe made a few mistakes, I bought the wrong type of faucet, had to go back. All of these improvements involved several trips to Home Depot. Um, but I did it. I've never done plumbing before, and I did it. I've never done electrical before, and I did it. Yes, I made a lot of mistakes. Um, at the end of it all, I actually now consider myself pretty handy. I feel like I can do any do-it-yourself project. If something goes wrong in the house, I don't freak out, I don't call somebody else, I'm pretty confident I can do it. Granted, I might need to Google quite a few things, but I feel confident that I can do it. It, it really changed me. I didn't realize that fixing up my house would sort of fix up me, too. Uh, and it gave me the confidence to realize you don't have to be handy to be handy. You don't have to have been born that way. That was my thing. I always thought people who were handy were born that way, right? They were just magically, naturally good at fixing things up, or maybe that was what they always liked to do their whole lives, or maybe they had parents who showed them how to do all these things. But no, that's not true, right? I mean, some people, sure, but you don't have to have been born that way. Or just because you weren't born that way doesn't mean you can't get that way. And, and for me, that transformed everything. I realized I can do anything. It doesn't, it's not just electrical and not just plumbing. Anything. You can learn to do it. Yes, you're going to make mistakes. You might electrocute yourself. You might put the headboard on backwards. <laughs> you, know, you might have, you know, spring the leaks with the plumbing or whatever. But you'll get through it and you'll do it. And then eventually you'll be one of those people that somebody looks at and says, wow, she really knows how to do that. Wow, she must have been doing it her whole life. She's so great at that. She doesn't make any mistakes. 